I don't think you guys understand how easy this is. With the vast amount of website builders, even someone with no coding experience can have a professional looking website up and running in just a few minutes. All you need is a computer and an internet connection. Simply sign up for a hosting plan, choose a template, and then start customizing. And with a page builder like Elementor, you can easily add text, images, even features like contact forms and online stores with just a few clicks. Let's get started. So step number one is to get a domain name and web hosting. A domain name is the unique address to your website, while web hosting is just the space where your website is gonna be stored. You need both in order to have a functional and accessible website that can be found on the internet. So in order to get started, you can go and click on the first link down in the description or go to create creativeprowebsite.com slash hostinger. And upon following that link, it'll take you to a special co-branded landing page that we have with Hostinger. And so down below, you'll see that we have three different hosting plans. We've got the single plan, the premium web hosting, and the business web hosting. And I always recommend everyone on the channel use the premium web hosting plan because you can have up to 100 websites under the same account. You can hook up free emails under the same domain name. And then we also have a free unlimited SSL certificate. So that's the security for your website. And then you also get a free domain name included with this plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on select right here for that premium shared hosting plan. And from here, you can set up the period, how often you're gonna be making payments. And so I'm gonna select every 12 months right here, which is gonna be saving you $98, which is pretty sweet. And so we're gonna scroll on down here and now we get to create an account. And so you can put in your email. And then after that, you can come down here to number three, which is to select a payment method. The first thing I wanted to point out, notice that the create a pro website coupon code is right here. You can see right here that we're literally taking off $101 from your plan. And so normally it's $131. And so it comes all the way down to $33 right here. For your first website, that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my credit card information and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, and now that we've completed putting in our credit card information, it's gonna take you to a page that looks like this. And so we can click on start now. We're gonna be creating a new site from scratch. So I'm gonna say select right here. And then you get to select a platform. I'm gonna be using WordPress. So we'll click on select. And then from here, we get to create our WordPress account. And this is important because you're gonna use this to sign into your website and to edit it all of the time. So just make sure you remember your administrator email and password here. So I'm gonna go ahead and create my own. And then from here, it's gonna ask if you wanna add some plugins before you even get to the site, but we're gonna go ahead and skip all of this and we're gonna manage the plugins later. And we're gonna do the same thing with these templates. We're gonna skip and we'll do this later. Finally, you get to claim your free domain name that we get with the hosting plan, the premium shared hosting plan that we were using. So I'm gonna click on select and claim my free domain name. Now we get to choose what domain name we're gonna use. So I'm gonna try one out, something like this, because this is a five minute website tutorial. So let's see if it's available, but I always recommend going for a .com just cause it's the most common and also professional looking. Okay, perfect. So five min website is available. So now that I've got the green check mark, I can click on continue. And then I'm gonna click on finish setup. All right, and now you'll notice that it says, well done, you are ready to go. So our website is up and running and now we can make changes to it. Now, in order to do that, straight from your hosting or account, we're just gonna click on edit website right here and it's gonna open up a new tab and take you directly to your WordPress dashboard. So step number two is downloading starter templates. Website templates are pre-designed layouts that can easily be customized to create a professional looking website. They save time and make it really easy for those with little to no design experience to create a visually cohesive and appealing website. Now these templates often include a variety of design elements such as text, images, and layout options. So you can choose the one that best fits your needs and customize it to your liking. So in order to do that, we're gonna go over here to the left-hand side. We're gonna hover our mouse over plugins, and then we're gonna click on add new. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up on a new tab because I always like having a dashboard that I can jump back to. Okay, so now we're on the add plugins page. Over here in the top right corner, we're gonna look for a plugin called starter templates, just like this. And then over here on the left-hand side, it's the first option. We've got starter templates for Elementor. So we're gonna click on install and then activate. And then from here, you're gonna be taken to the plugins tab, which is basically just a list of all of the plugins that you have installed on your website. From here, we'll go down to starter templates right here, and then we can click on see library. So now from here, we're gonna click on build your website. And then of the three page builders that it shows here, we're gonna choose Elementor. And now down below, you'll see that they have a ton of different templates that you can click on and actually look through. So you get a live preview of the website and you can also go by different categories. And so this website that we're about to build can literally be for anything, but I'm gonna choose this one right here. Now, if you already have a logo, you can upload it, but I'm gonna click on skip. And then you can choose different colors that you want for the website just by clicking on these different color swatches. But I'm gonna choose this red one right here because I like how it looks. 
And then you can also play around with the font, but I'm not really gonna touch it. Now I'm gonna click on continue. And there's one last step. You have to make sure that all of these boxes are checked except for the last one, because personally I just don't share non-sensitive data, but if you'd like to, you can. From here, we can just click on submit and build my website. All right, congratulations. And just like that, we've finished building your website. At this point, we're at the five minute mark and we have the foundation of any successful website. Now that we have the template that we like, all we have to do is now swap in our images and text for our own, and then we're good to go. Let's go ahead and click on view your website right here. As you can see, your website is up and live on the internet. So whenever someone goes to 5minwebsite or 5minsite.com, this is what they're gonna see, the template that I downloaded. And so we can do a scroll through of the entire website. And then we've got a home page, we've got an about page, a services page, and a contact page if we wanna go and check them out. So I'm gonna go back to the home page just like this. And then up here in the top left corner, you'll see it says edit with Elementor. I'm gonna click right here. All right, so now we're inside of Elementor. From here, we're just gonna swap out the background pictures and the text so that you can customize the website to be for your business. And it's really simple to do. First, let's try editing the background image. And so in order to do that, we just have to hover our mouse over here in the left corner, and then we can right click and say edit section, just like this. Next, we're gonna go over to the style tab, which is where we can change things like the background image, the colors and stuff like that. And so under the style tab, under background, all we have to do is click on the image, and now we can upload the files from our computer. So let me go ahead and show you guys. I'm just gonna upload them all. All right, and so now that I've uploaded all of the pictures, I can just choose which one I want in the background. So from here, if you ever wanna change the text, all you have to do is click on it and you can literally type directly on the screen. And if you guys ever wanna change the size of the text, you can just go to the style tab, click on typography, and then you can change everything about the text. All I'm gonna do is just drag the size. So I'm gonna make Bastion a little bit bigger, just like this. And then I'm gonna click on the subtitle and go over to the style tab again. And then I'm just gonna change this size to be a little bit smaller, something like this. I think that looks great. So you guys already know how to change background pictures and you already know how to change the text. So now we just have to change the button. First thing is when you click on the button to edit it, so you can right click and say edit button. If you wanna change the text that's appearing on the button, it says explore, you can literally just do it right here. You can do something like learn more. And then whenever you want the button to take someone somewhere, all you have to do is put that URL or that hyperlink right here. So if you want this to take them to YouTube, for example, you could literally just type out YouTube, just like that. And so now that we're done editing the button, let's click on update to save our work, because I think the hero section looks perfect. Now we can scroll on down and complete putting in our own images and then just changing the text, and it's really simple. You can click on the picture, click right here, and you can switch it to whatever picture you want. And so what I'm gonna do is choose this picture right here, I'm gonna do the same thing for the next two. And now I can change the text that's right below it. So right now it's just a bunch of dummy text, but I can just click on it and I can literally type on screen. All right, and then just like that, I can also do the same thing with the text down below and I can type out whatever I want, but I'll let you guys do that on your own. Now, if you wanna take the site that you just built to the next level, check out this video in the top left corner where I go much more in depth with building a complex WordPress website in Elementor as a full step-by-step -step tutorial. But first, before you start adding too much random clutter to your website, I suggest you watch the video in the top right corner where I reveal the absolute golden rule to web design to maximize your website's potential. I'll see you there.